हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम प्रोफेसर गायकवाड़ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी के के वाला इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च टुडे वी विल सी वन मोर न्यू टॉपिक फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स अवर टुडे टॉपिक इज फ्रैक्टल एंड फ्रैक्टल डायमेंशन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द टॉपिक वी हैव टू सी आउटकम ऑफ टूडे लेक्चर एट द एंड ऑफ दिस लेक्चर यू विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन बेसिक ऑफ फ्रैक्टल एंड फ्रैक्टल डायमेंशन also you will be able to identify various fractal shapes and you will be able to calculate fractal dimension for given shape now we will start our session with one quote in 1983 madel wood has quoted that clouds are not spheres mountains are not cones coastlines are not circle and bark is not smooth nor does lightning travel in a straight line This quote is very important for our today's topic because in this quote lot of examples are there which comes under the fractal category cloud coastline lightning mountains these are not regular shape all these objects belongs to irregular shape why i am saying that all these objects belongs to irregular shape the reason is it is very difficult to describe actual pattern of these objects it is very difficult to define shape of these objects so these objects comes under the irregular shape category now we can see various other examples of this kind of irregular shapes in in the example you can see cauliflower mountain coastline and some kind of uh, tree structures are comes under the irregular shape category it is very dif difficult to define actual patterns and shape of a cauliflower same thing is applicable to coastline and mountain so all these are the examples of fractal so before defining the fractal we have seen examples of the fractal now we can define the fractal easily the formal definition of fractal is it is a never ending pattern fractals are indefinite in infinitely complex patterns that are self similar across different Scale. Also, fractals are considered to be important because they define the images that are otherwise cannot be defined by Euclidean geometry. Euclidean geometry is only for defining regular shapes. By using Euclidean geometry, we can define regular shapes like line, uh, plane, etc. But it is very difficult to define fractal kind of pattern because most of the objects. which comes under the fractal pattern has their own, have their own unique shape but very important characteristics among all the objects and their shape is though all those objects are having self similar structure so i would recommend that please memorize this word fractals all the fractals are having self similar structure in their shape now by using this self similar characteristic we can calculate dimension of the fractal now we will see what is fractal dimension fractal dimension is a measure of how complicated a self similar figure it means that if you want to calculate fractal dimension then one characteristic is mandatory and that characteristic is self similar structure now we will see two broad categories of the shape first one is regular shape and second one is irregular shape in regular shape many objects like line plane cube are present in irregular shape objects like broccoli cauliflower galaxy coastline are present now first of all we will cal we will talk about dimensions of regular shape now in the regular shape as i said line plane and cube these kind of objects are present we know that dimension for the line is 1 for the plane it is 2 and dimension for the cube it is 3 now to get self similar structure we can see that we can divide that line into number of pieces same thing is applicable to cube and same thing is applicable to plane after dividing that line cube or plane into number of pieces we can get self similar structure but how many self similar object we will get after this division it depends on the scaling factor so so by the scaling factor and dimension we will get that exact number of self self similar object now here what is the scaling factor now let's assume we are going to divide one object into number of so number of segments 
or number of sub parts after dividing that object into number of sub parts is it possible to get original object by using the sub parts yes you can pick any sub part and you have to magnify or you have to scale that sub part by using the scaling factor and after applying the scaling factor you will get original object so it is very important to calculate scaling factor so um, we know that whenever we are going to line divide line into two equal pieces and by using any one, one of piece if you want to get original line then scaling factor um, then scaling factor uh, make a correction here scaling factor will be 2 now now you can also observe that whenever we are going to divide plane in four equal pieces then scaling factor is 2 so you can check the difference whenever we are going to divide line in four equal pieces then scaling factor will be 4 so if you are going to assume n as a scaling on the number of equal pieces then scaling factor is totally dependent on n if n number of pieces are there then scaling factor will be n in case of line but that is not true in case of plane in case of plane whenever we are going to divide that plane into four equal pieces then scaling factor is 2 now by using this scaling factor we can calculate the fractal dimension or a dimension of an object so for fractal dimension we need two types of input first input will be number of self similar pieces after dividing that object we will get number of self similar pieces and we need all those pieces and second point is scaling factor so fractal dimension general uh, formula is log of number of self similar objects divided by log of scaling factor so here we will test this formula for plane and for cube now for dimension uh, for the plane as I said, formula will be log of number of self similar objects and log of scaling factor. As I said, number of self similar objects are dependent on scaling factor and dimension. In case of plane, dimension is 2. In case of line, dimension is 1. And in case of cube, dimension is 3. So, by using scaling factor raised to dimension value, we will get number of self similar objects. So, if you want to get number of self similar objects, then the formula is scaling factor raised to dimension of that particular object so for plane as i said dimension is 2 so the formula will be like this log of scaling factor raised to 2 divided by log of scaling factor at the end of solving we will get 2 and we know that 2 is the dimensions for the plane with the same strategy we can check dimensions for the cube and after solving the equation we will get value 3 so, uh, as, we, as we have already tested uh, the usability of that formula, so by using that formula, we can calculate dimension, dimensions of any other object. So, for calculating dimension of any other object, the normal formula is log of number of self similar objects divided by log of scaling factor. And as we have tested, this formula is really useful and by using it, we can calculate dimension of any irregular shape any regular shape now this is uh, this is the end of today's part uh, in today's uh, session we have seen fractal we have seen many parts we have seen uh, the code by the mandel board then we have seen some examples of fractal um, then we have seen definition of fractal after that we have seen self similar object and fractal dimension then we have seen uh, dimensions for the regular geometrical object under which we have checked what is the scaling factor we have also seen formula for a fractal dimension and after that we have seen uh, we have tested that formula for plane and cube as i said this formula is for a regular shape and also we can use this formula for calculating dimensions of other fractal but main challenge while calculating dimension of other fractal is to calculate number of self similar objects here we can easily calculate number of self similar objects but for calculating number of self similar objects in other shapes we have to adopt different strategy in next session or in uh, next lectures next video lectures which i am going to upload uh, in few days you will get idea how to calculate number of self similar objects what will be the strategy to calculate those number of self similar objects and at last you will get idea how to calculate dimensions for those irregular shapes and fractals so uh, for today's topic summary will be fractals are important to define regular patterns 
Same similar characteristic of object is useful while defining the fractal and for calculating fractal dimension we need number of same similar object and scaling factors. Thank you.